Grace and peace to you this new day, brothers and sisters. For today's installment of our Lutheran Leaders Devotion, I couldn't resist the opportunity to highlight a Swedish Lutheran pastor and later bishop by the name of Nathan. This is Bishop Nathan Soderblom. He was born in Trenu, Sweden in 1866 and ordained in 1893. In 1894, he accepted a position as chaplain to the Swedish embassy in Paris, and while he was there, he earned a doctorate in comparative religion. In 1901, he then moved back to Sweden to Uppsala, where he taught church history at the university there. In 1914, he was elected Archbishop of Uppsala, the highest bishop in the Church of Sweden. Soderblom's greatest gift to the Church was his emphasis on Christian unity. He wanted churches to work together, even with real differences in their worship and theology and ministry practices, because he believed it was his duty to work for a united Christendom and he saw practical cooperation on social issues as an important first step toward this unity. During World War I, he worked tirelessly to alleviate the conditions of prisoners of war and refugees, and for this and subsequent work for church unity and world peace, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1930. In 1925, he also started something that would have significant impact on the future of the church. He organized the Universal Christian Council on Life and Work in Stockholm. And in 1948, this body, along with a similar Anglican body, merged to form the World Council of Churches, which is still leading the effort for Christian unity around the world today. This emphasis on working together seems especially appropriate now, as congregations, social service agencies, government agencies, and businesses all work together to help those in desperate need. Because when it comes to caring for our neighbors, Jesus doesn't say to just love our Lutheran neighbors or even our fellow Christians, but to love your neighbor as you love yourself. And then he went on to tell the parable of the Good Samaritan. You know, I suspect when all of this is over, when all of this social distancing is done, there will be a new normal in many aspects of our lives including in our life together as the church. One of my hopes is that we take this as an opportunity to work together collaboratively in new ways across denominational lines, all for the benefit of our local communities. Because if we don't work together, some congregations may not survive this pandemic. And if we do, while the gospel witness will be all the stronger for it. So today I invite you to pray for Christian unity, not just here in Grand Blanc or even in Michigan, but all around the country and the world. Let us pray. Almighty God, who gave you to your servant Nathan Soderblom a special concern for the unity of the Church and the welfare of your people, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit we too may be moved to seek an end to the barriers that divide Christian from Christian, and may show forth your love to all the world in deeds of generosity. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thanks for watching.